92 Toyota Camry vacuum switching valve EGR VSV it's called remove the passenger tire show you what it is and uh, see that's where the axle that's where the motor mount is come here this is the the rear motor mount on top of it or on the front of it you see this this is a vacuum switching valve this is the 12 millimeter bolt on top I don't know if I can I don't think I can actually okay so here this is the blue connector there is uh, two vacuum lines going to it the right one and this left one and the 12 millimeter I'll show you how to move it. I'm trying to set up the phone. Okay. Oops. Okay. Let me see. Focus. All right. <clears throat> Okay, this is the connector and you press on here to release the tap. Okay, let me see if I hope you can see what I'm doing. Here press on the outer tab. See you hear the click and just pull it like it did here. Uh, okay, and then the 12 millimeter bolt I already broke it loose using a 12 millimeter ratcheting wrench I came put my hand there and I did put it on the bolt itself like that here yep now it's on the bolt and then I broke I broke it loose after that continue taking make sure to hold it because first time I took the bolt off it went in there and you have to use some magnetic tool to get it out it doesn't drop on the floor okay so anyway let's not waste no more time so this is the first vacuum line there is a hashtag one on it I'm not sure if you can see it let me see where is it uh, yep it's on the side here there is a Hatch tag one. So this is the number one vacuum line. How you remove it is just simply take it off, plug it off from there. Okay, that's the first one. This is actually the taller one. Make sure the taller one goes to the behind the connector. And there is another one. Let's see, I don't know if you can see it, but it's right there. This is the one, the other one. He just easily take it out like that see it it goes into the second one and then just continue taking the 12 millimeter bolt make sure you hold it and not do not drop it on the floor it's not that hard people say oh it's too hard and stuff but it's not that hard okay here I took the bolt out and I took the vacuum switching valve let me show you Oh. Oh. It's in a stupid place, but you know, it's not like impossible. See, here's where the how the vacuum switching valve was sitting. Here's the connector, and this is the first vacuum, and that is the second one. That's how it's sitting. It's supposed to be 30 to 35 ohms between the connectors, and it's supposed to hear a click when you connect it to the 12 volt battery. This is how it looks like and how I was sitting is I was kind of like laying down here and looking this way and I can still look like where it's supposed to be but you see, this is the hole for it this is the bulb focused on it and that is the connector and uh, 
Yeah, you just, I guess, put your uh, right arm between here. And just go on top when you are laying down and you're good.